kind of makes you realize when you translate that there are families of words. It's like the word for one thing in French is a cousin of the word for the same thing in Spanish and also cousins of the same word in Italian. And translating is kind of getting to know these families and getting to know what the history is of all these different words. Hi, my name is Tony Shugar. I'm a literary translator, and I translated this book, Telephone Tales by Johnny Rodari from Enchanted Lion Press. Johnny Rodari wrote this book almost 60 years ago, and he won the Hans Christian Andersen Award, the only Italian writer ever to do so. I never met him, and I'm sorry because he was a nice man. It's a beautiful book. It was illustrated by Valerio Vidali, who I think did some beautiful work. It's a little bit like the Arabian Nights. The person telling the stories in Telephone Tales is a father who has to travel for work and calls his daughter every night to tell her a bedtime story. And then all of the stories that he tells her are the stories in the book. They're fun stories. They kind of turn reality inside out. In one town they build a palace for the children made entirely of ice cream and it melts of course but the kids are rolling around the ice cream eating it. Another building they build is a building for breaking because the kids are so mischievous that they just say have a building and go at it. One story that I liked as a translator because of the words and the way the words are used was a traffic light that instead of turning green, turned blue. The thing I liked about that is I later heard from my nephew who lives in Japan that traffic lights in Japan actually are said to turn blue when it's time for the cars to go. It kind of makes you realize when you translate that there are families of words. It's like the word for one thing in French is a cousin of the word for the same thing in Spanish and also cousins of the same word in Italian. And translating is kind of getting to know these families and getting to know what the history is of all these different words. It's really useful to understand these families, know how words relate across languages, and know their history to know how to spell them. One word I'd like to talk about is glamour. We all know that word. G-L-A-M-O-U-R. It means pretty much to be fabulous, to be famous, right? But originally it was a Scottish dialect term that meant an enchantment that makes you see something that isn't really there. And it comes from the word grammar. And that's an interesting etymology. Why would glamour come from grammar? I mean, the R turns into an L. That's something that happens with words a lot. But I think the idea was that among people who didn't know how to read, people who knew grammar knew something sort of like magic. So grammar and glamour, that's a nice pair, right? Nice to talk to you. Thanks.